Hey everybody, what's going on? Jesse B and I up here in Northern Vancouver Island. We got invited up on a last minute, once in a lifetime cougar hunt with some friends up in their place. And uh, we had the privilege of sleeping in their game room last night, crashed on the couches, <laughs> but uh, it's obviously incredible game room. A lifetime of hunts up on these walls and can't wait to hear all about it later on, but we're getting out today. We'll be chasing cats. Let's get after it. When we get snow down here, it's always good for cats. So we'll just kind of go fast and then we're going to do this loop and we'll come back up behind you again. Okay. Well, we'll hit a cat here. I like it. All right, sounds like we might be in business. I think the, the other truck found some tracks, so we're gonna check it out. You ready to go? You ready to go? <laughs> that's a cat track. Whoa. Whoa. That's a Tom. <laughs> so you can tell that's a Tom, and how can you tell it's a Tom? Size. Just the size? Here, here, the general rule of thumb? Yeah. All these other guys measure strides and come up with all this horse shit. Mm -hmm. See the fucking toes? This isn't the world record tom, but it's a big tom. Mm -hmm. A female's toes will be about the size of your pinky yeah. nail. Yeah. As soon as you start seeing toes, toes the, the size, size of your thumb, thumb, bigger than that, they're a tom. And yeah. then the width of the back pad here. So what would you say about the width? Like it's three inches, three and a half inches? Oh, the fucking guys measure with that and yeah. give you all this horse shit. But if they're running fast, if they're walking fast, their strides longer. If they're walking slow, it's slower. If the snows, yeah. snow conditions make the feet look bigger or smaller, but that's yeah. a tom. Yeah. Yeah. Guarantee it. So, yeah. And it's not 150. The reality is very few will break 140 pounds. Like very few. It's probably 120 to 30 pound cat that is, I'd say. That's crazy. Experience. There's no snow in the We're going to go up there and if the dogs can smell it and take it through the bush, we'll get it. If they can't smell it, we've got to go find another one. Okay. I think we're going to chase a cat here soon. So Frank and uh, Rhonda will each have a GPS collar. That's correct. And then we can actually see where they go on this unit. Yeah, we'll follow them. So on the screen, the, yeah. the, it takes off through the bush. Let's show you the little dog on there. Cool. So Moose, this is Rhonda. That's Rhonda. She gets pink because she's a girl. Yeah. Get back here. And she's a three-year-old blue blue tick. Blue tick. And that's Frank. Excited to go. Look at that. Go get him, Frank! She, she jumped right on it, eh? Yeah. But she also smells the dog, too, I guess. Listen, that nose work, eh? See, I've got a little poodle named Frank, and he's been in nose work class, but he's not ready for this. He's not ready. They're heading up the hill. So the dogs are working the way up the mountain, and you can actually see them on the GPS. There's Rhonda and Frank. That's pretty cool. Yeah. If you're in snow and you can't tell what it is, yeah. a wolf won't walk a log. Never uh -huh. ever. Yeah. You see a track walking along, you're like, is that a wolf or a cat? Cat cat every time yeah 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 cool because wolves can't don't have the claws and they fall off you'll never see a wolf walk hmm. in a log yeah that's his claws because they retract this is a dog track see mm -hmm. how the claws are down on the toe in the bottom yeah. yeah yeah in deep snow you won't you'll see a claw and you'll think oh it's a wolf and guys fuck it up all the time and it's a cat, it's just that the, the claw is up where, where it's retracted. Hmm. But a wolf will always be down on the ground and move yeah. the ice on the ground. Yep, yep. Fucking cocksucking whore. You're fucking, you're on the very cocksucking top. 
Well, that's where you said they'd go. Oh, look at there's the yeah. last of the old growth. Yeah. Typical Tom. Right to the fucking top. Love it. Yeah. We caught up to the dogs and we can actually hear them baying and what I'm told here is that the more excited they get, the better scent they have and that when they do finally tree a cat, it really picks up and, and you can tell just from the sound of it if they've got one treed or if they're just uh, tracking. This is some steep, tough country, but uh, Frank's doing good. He's on that cat. We think we got to help Rhonda get around these cliffs and link back up with Frank, but he's motoring. Rhonda. Rhonda. Hey, As he's treed right down beneath us, right there. Yeah. Right. I can't hear him. He's right about there. Sure. Yeah. Well, again, and he's been there for a bit, and he's not wandering. Yep. I just heard a bark. Yeah. Yeah. Down the, down the. He should get it. I mean, Good. fuck. If we got through all this bluff, we should get it through there. Come on. Yeah. Come on. That's not better. Let's do it. So I can hear the dog, Frank, he's way down the hill here, but it's like cliffs, like rock bluffs. I don't know how the dog made it down, but we assume because he hasn't moved that he's got a, a cat tree. And you don't want to leave a dog on a cat for too long because they might, you know, they could turn on the dog. So we want to back up Frank as quick as we can, but I don't know if we can safely get down through the ship. Got to back up that dog though. Little update, we came up and over the mountain. Like you saw, the snow is ridiculously deep. This terrain is treacherous to say the least. And one of the dogs, Frank, is still doing what he's doing and we gotta recover him so we can get out. Not only do we have to get the dog, we gotta figure out how we're gonna get out because we're way back here. There's a river and really steep rock bluffs. So, I don't know. It's just all part of the experience, I guess, but it ain't easy. This crazy amount of snow. It's a beautiful forest, but holy fuck. So it sounds like we got Frank down there? We got Frank. It's possible he chased the cat right to this river and then the cat did some cat stuff. Okay, we'll join you. <laughs> this is wild. Right through your legs. Right through your legs with the dog. Trying to get up and over here. Well, that cat gave us a slip, but the dogs did good. He just crossed the canyon that we just couldn't get to, but I'm happy we made it out of there. That was crazy. Well, we've got a few more hours of daylight, so we're gonna drive and see if we can pick up some fresh tracks and then uh, see if we can get on one more cat before it gets dark. Good dog. Good dog. Hey. All right, back at the house. It was a good day one. Put a chase on a cat. Couldn't make it happen, but uh, we'll be out tomorrow morning. We're gonna get one. We're gonna get it done. Easy. 
He's heading over there too. He's got a good look at him. He'll follow. Yeah, yeah, we'll go. Another one up there. Another bull. That's a good herd. Another cow. Yeah. Pretty neat to see all those elk. We knew it was just a matter of time though because of all the tracks we're seeing, but that's why you predator hunt, right? You want to preserve these elk. Make sure there's a, a proper balance of predators and prey. Just out here trying to do our part. That's all part of cat hunting. That's why he's got a shovel in the back. We might have picked up that same cat from yesterday on his track this morning and the dogs seem excited. That's a good sign. Just so we go the right way. Come here. If, if the catch is working the contour, right? Yeah. Because why would it go up and over the top? Well, that's Unnecessary. the thing is you run out of... What's your professional opinion now, Moose? That they, they just... They, there's no reason to go over the top, really. There's yep. good, good feeds down here. Yeah. Uh, my professional hope is that they parallel and, and then jump it and drop down and tree it closer to the road. So we're able to catch up to the dogs again. We're on the edge of a kind of a steep cliff going down into a ravine with a stream. Oh, fuck. Hey, what the heck? Shouldn't we be on a cat hunt? Well, to tell you the truth, my camera died, I didn't film an outro, and we didn't get a cat. However, Jess and I had a blast hunting, uh, learning what it was all about, and uh, watching the dogs work. Jess and I were so much fun to hunt with, we got invited back next year for another go. So we'll definitely stay tuned for part two. It's going to be next season, but uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. This is a good sold. This is a good sold. Dear, screwing up my shots. <laughs> it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Just let me do this. Just let me have this. And then help me hang the bear back up on the wall. Come on. I'm having fun. It's my channel, dear. I can do whatever I want. It's for entertainment purposes. I know.